not at home, the fun thing about science is we can learn together. So today I thought we'd talk a little bit about solid, liquid, and gas. So for the solid one, oh look at that, gas one almost flew away, so gas is very light. So for the solid one, I put water in the balloon and I froze it overnight so that we could do this. And then for the liquid one, I just ran water and had it like a water balloon. So I'm going to blow this up, the gas one. So I'm going to use, that's in my mouth, to put in air. <laughs> I'm not going to put very much into it because I barely have any. <laughs> okay guys, All right, I have to hold on to this balloon because it's a little windy and as you can see, it's trying to fly away from me. Perfect example. So, what do we know about solids guys? Well, we know there's a little bit of weight, we know that it's hard, it's hard to put your finger through it, right? Where if it's liquid, I can move it. And gas, well, we're going to pretend like my hand is just going through it. So let's see how heavy when we weigh all this stuff. Okay? So I'm going to put the solid down. And you can see that the solid weighs 4.6. And now let's try liquid. I'm just going to be very careful because I do not want this to pop right now. And that is 4.2. It's a little fast my weight here. Again, if you don't have a weight or a scale, this is just so we can learn for what solid, liquid, and gases are. Now this is going to be hard because gas can be weightless, right guys? I put this on. It's not even registering it. I push down on it. There we go. But that's, see, that's me using force pushing down. That's my weight of my hand into this gas. If I don't put it on there, and we just put it on, Nothing. Now, what else can we learn about solid, liquid, and gas? What about if we do a little sink and float challenge? With something that is solid, what will happen, do you guys think? Well, let's find out. It sinks. If the bowl was bigger, it would be a little easier to see, but it went right to the bottom. You can hear it. Ready? Let's sink carefully. Now the tricky thing about liquid, because if I put it in, what do you think is going to happen? It sinks. But if this was oil, which is also a liquid, the oil would float on top of the water. That's the tricky thing about liquid. Some liquids float, but some liquids sink. Depends on what you're mixing with. Now the gas, it floats. <laughs> It's hard to see because gas can be kind of invisible here, but I'm going to use the balloon to represent it. And as you can see, when I put it into the water, now we're going to use a little bit of toothpicks. We're going to use some toothpicks here. Ah, maybe I'll put the balloon here so it doesn't fly away. Oh, so toothpicks. And you guys are gonna help me. Which color do you think we should use? I have yellow, red, or green. The red one? Well, it's reddish orange to me if we look a little closer to it. See, some parts of it, it's not really reddish. But we'll put it here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this toothpick to poke each one and we're going to see what happens. Okay? Should I, which one do you guys think I should start with? The solid, the liquid, or the gas? You want to do the gas one first? <laughs> okay, you guys ready? It might be loud. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. So if it's too loud, cover your ears. Okay? of me for force, putting my force down through the gas, whoosh, too much, pop, too much pressure. Now let's see what happens if we do the solid? Okay. Oh, well as you can see, if you look closely, I'm poking. It's not breaking through. 
how am I going to get the solid out? I might have to use force and stretch the balloon to poke the solid. And there you go, there's a nice ice cube. And because it's hot outside, this guy's going to melt a little fast today. We will put that there because I'm going to fill those out, save the animals. What we have left is the liquid. Now this can be a little messy, guys. <laughs> but I'm prepared. I have protection on for my clothes. Okay, you guys ready for this? <laughs> ah! That was so cold! But the liquid exploded. Wasn't that fun, guys, to learn a little bit about solids, liquids, and gas? As you can see, the liquid is just completely disappearing. But the solid's still here for now, until the sun melts it and becomes a liquid. I'll see you guys later. Miigwech!